kneel before your god. What is up YouTube? My name is Tanner, this is Scarlet Riders Geek Corner, and today we're going to be talking about the rise and fall and rise again of Hidan Aruto through my eyes. Now I'm not going to be arrogant to say that my opinion on the character really matters. It really doesn't. I know there's people that have liked Aruto from the beginning and have never hated him. Uh, I was not one of those people. If you follow me on Twitter and you, any, you see any Zero One discussion I've gotten into, I've pretty much made it abundantly clear I was never a fan of Aruto as a character. I didn't mind him in the first few episodes, but you know, those are the first few episodes, and, you know, you're always, that's when you're being introduced to the character. Around episode 11 or 12, I just, I got to the point, I'm just sitting there going, watching it, I'm not feeling this character. And it, it's kind of continued on. Now, I don't have a problem with Aruto's actor, I don't have a problem with his ideals, and it's actually one of the reasons I like Guy as a villain. He's the perfect foil for Aruto as a character. He believes that the human gears should be destroyed, and, and, and you know, as of the most recent couple of episodes, uh, by the way, Zero One Episode 29 is effectively the best episode in the entire series. If you haven't seen it yet, you guys need to catch up and go watch it. it the revelations of that episode are incredible. Um, Guy is a megalomaniacal sociopath, and you definitely see that in this episode. Also, by the way, Fua is freaking MVP. He, he's easily cemented the one of my favorite secondary writers in the show. Uh, right up there with Ren from Ryuki and Bonjo from Build. The guy is... He's won me over, I will say. <laughs> I'm actually kind of won by his plushie now. I don't know if I should have admitted that. Also, at the end of episode 29, when you, Aruto has lost his company because at the end of this arc, Zaya won. The uh, guy now owns all the stocks of Hiden. He now also has the Zero One driver because technically um, it wasn't really Aruto's property to begin with. It was the property of Hiden. Aruto has been kicked out of his company, no longer has his powers, and the human gears are probably going to start getting scrapped in mass. And he no longer has Izu. He no longer has his uh, assistant waifu. So now Arto is at the lowest point, and that's really how a second act of a show should end, a show or story or movie. The Empire Strikes Back ended with Luke and the Rebels being at their lowest point, and really that's how a second act should end for a series or story. The characters should be at their lowest point before they rise back up. At the end of episode 29, I effectively, when I saw Arto at his lowest point and I saw him walking towards the screen with that determined look on his face, it was at that point I realized, that is what I wanted. It finally clicked with me why I didn't like Arto as a character, and I think it wasn't just the personality, it wasn't his ideals, he never earned the belt. That was always my biggest problem. It was the fact that, yes, I understand his grandfather thought that he was the one to lead the Heat and Enterprises into the future. He was the one to effectively create the dream, making it a reality that humans and human gears could effectively live together in peace and harmony. It was just the problem was, Arto only earned the belt based off familial ties. Yes, he did step up in the first episode, but Arto would not even have the belt had he not been the CEO's grandson. And it was at that point I realized what my problem with him was. He had never earned the mantle of Common Rider. Common Rider over the course of the last two decades has kind of a, had a weird branding issue. In the early Heisei era, it was like they didn't like saying Common Rider, and then when they got to Ryuki, it was just everybody was a Common Rider. This guy's a Common Rider. This guy's a Common rider this and this guy are common riders and i'm just like yeah you made the fucking serial killer a common rider common rider kind of lost its meaning during the early heisei era and when you got to double which was part of heisei era phase two they kind of took that back a bit especially when you watch the double movie gaia memories from a to z and you see the lowly mercenary daito katsumi call himself common rider eternal and shotaro gets instantly pissed off it was because common rider was the name of the hero that protected the city there is meaning behind the name common rider and over the course of the first decade of heisei era they kind of lost that at least bandai and toei did and i think it made me realize why i didn't care about aruto as a character Look, it was the fact that not only was he kind of being overly naive when it came to the human gears, it was also the fact that I felt like, what makes this guy so special to have the belt beyond his familial ties? And now you see that he's going to have to earn that all back. He's going to have to take back his company, take back his belt, which is honestly the most important part. He needs to take back Izu. Izu needs to be protected. I'm just saying that right now. Uh, ta waifu tangent aside, this is the moment where I feel like Aruto is going to be able to call himself Kamen Rider Zero One. You just know it's going to happen in the next couple of episodes when he takes on Guy. He's not going to be Zero 
01, he's going to be Common Rider 01. It's going to go to where I'm going to look at him and go, okay, buddy, you earned that mantle. Honestly, I, I'm just, I'm super into 01 right now. It's actually kind of weird because I was, I was going in that middle portion, especially the Heat End versus Aya arc. I, that was the biggest complaint to a lot of fans was that this arc dragged on way too long. I mean, it's a goddamn 15 episode story arc. And those arcs can usually work, but the way it was written was kind of hit and miss with me. But I'm going to go ahead and say right now that I was, after watching episode 29, I'm just sitting there going, oh my god, i got to watch the next episode. And I have to wait till probably when it's subbed sometime in the middle of next week. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys think that Aruto is, is finally going to earn the mantle of Kamen Rider? Was he always Kamen Rider to you guys? Am I just being an elitist douchebag? Let me know down below. Flame me if you want. I mean, we get, let's get the conversation going. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that bell icon for notifications. Let's you know when I've uploaded new content. My name is Tanner Griggs. This is Scarlet Raiders Geek Corner, and I will see you guys next time. What you need is a champion. I'm the next.